Hello and welcome back to ChiefTutor.com Master Bat Design Videos. This is uh, video one basically after the intro and let's get started. Here again I have uh, the master bathroom I've laid out already in the as-built condition and I've decided that we want to design this where the shower is going to be here and the bathtub is going to be here. Now the client sent in a request to use a specific type bathtub uh, from Kohler. So I'm going to go over here to the Kohler website and <clears throat> let's go ahead and download the actual tub she's going to use. Their tubs are nice because there's room to relax in their tubs. And uh, you know when the water is on, and, you know, in your terms, it's, it's great. It's deceptively simple, really, is what it is. It's, um, you know, a standout style. All right, enough about messing around there. So we'll go ahead and type in the model number because she was able to tell me. But they have easy ways to search through their product as well, going through their bathroom and kitchen product. But I'm going to go ahead and type it in. It's the K1174-GCR, and that's for bubble massage with the chromotherapy. It's really nice. I don't know what the chromotherapy is. It's those colored lights they turn on for the bathtub but here it is here's the bathtub I want from the Kohler website and if you go down here you'll see there's a tab for installers and designers much like you and a scroll down it's got spec sheets it's also got the 3d model which is great the DWG so I'll go ahead and download that bad boy now I've actually already downloaded it's over here and so there's the file that I've downloaded straight from their website I'm just going to minimize this. Let's go back to Chief. Now you can import that 3D DWG right into Chief. It's no problem really. You just go File, Import. Instead of DWG, you're importing a 3D symbol. So be careful to choose that. Uh, then navigate up to your wherever you download it to. In this case, my desktop. Click Open, and it'll generate it in. The only thing wrong with their models that they have is. Um, they're usually all the same color and that's not something I want to do but let's go ahead and take a look what it's done you'll notice over on the right hand side the tubs in the library already and then on the cursor on the plan screen it shows me it's given me the tub and ready to place it it's really nice so I left click one time and it placed it hit the space bar and I'm gonna to go to my camera tool I'm just gonna take a look at this tub and show you what I mean by one color fits all see how it's all the same color so I want to tweak it, go a little further in this, so I can get a very nice um, bathtub for my client. So I'm going to select this tub and just delete it. I'm also going to delete it out of here, because in the library I just don't need it. Once I fix it, it's going to be great. I'm going to delete, I have two instances of that tub, so it's going to get them both. Okay, so how I'm going to mess with it is I'm going to use SketchUp. Now, Google SketchUp is a tool that's free from Google, and you can download it off of Google's website. Just go to google.com and type in SketchUp. And here is the 3D program. I'm going to delete the little person out of the plan. I can go to File and go to Import. I'm going to import the 3D DWG file. And SketchUp will import the file and give you the specs for the actual um, symbol that you're importing in. Okay, so once it's in, I'm just going to move on in here and take a look. I'm going to use my orbit tool so I can kind of orbit around the unit. Now we'll notice that the color is all the same all the way around in all the pieces, but I would like this section to be a different color than this section. And I can select each layer in SketchUp, which is great. Sometimes they have it blocked and you can unblock it. But uh, in this case, this is all unblocked, so it lets me grab any layer or any face that I want. Now, if I want to just get that area and make it a different color, I simply have to select in the program the area that I want changed and then apply a new color to it. So I apply this guy right here. Go back to the arrow key and snap out of it. And we can see we have two different colors now. It's very easy to do, and you can assign different colors to different layers. Now that there is two different colors, when we import this into Chief from SketchUp, it'll be great because it'll keep all these colors. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. I don't really need this. I'm going to open up the SketchUp file I've already created for the tub to save for time. Again, I'm going to orbit around, and notice I colored the tub white, 
and then all the little devices another gray color. Okay, so once I have that SketchUp file done, I can simply drag and drop it right into the screen. And it again will appear with the cursor. Then I can plop it where I want it, hit spacebar. I'm going to go over here to the camera view, and let's take a look now. And there we go. The only thing is I just want to color maybe the tub white because it's got kind of like the gray going on tones there, which I don't need. So I just hit the, um, hit the spray can, go on up to materials under Chief Architect and colors and generic colors. And we'll go with the white colors. I'll go with this one, bright white. Apply it there and there we go. So it's a little bit of a workaround using the SketchUp tool allows you to get in and modify it exactly. And I have a lot more SketchUp video tutorials on ChiefTutor.com so you can navigate to that section of family of videos and watch those and give you a better understanding of Chief. But here we go. We've got the custom tub in. I've got my vanity area all set. I've got my walls and windows all set, and now I just need to start building my master bath. And that will be on video part number two. Thanks for joining.